Hi folks, I'm Nate with Two Guys to Ride. Today Rob and I are here at uh, Street Machine Nationals and we are here with Colin. And Colin, <laughs> you have got one of my favorite dream cars right behind us. Well, thank you. What is it? It's a 1998 Land Rover Defender 130. So, I gotta tell you, that this to me, this still has the classic Land Rover look, you know, with the blinkers and the round headlights. I mean, just, it's enough to make you drool just walking by. Thank you. It's oh. called that lineage, right? That... It does. Yeah. It's absolutely Land Rover. I mean, I grew up with these things older than this, of course, but man, it still harkens back to this very, very easy spot. Now, how did you get it? So I spent some time, I've been drooling over them for many years. I grew up in England um, and I'd seen them, knew about them. And when I moved to the States about 20 years ago, I started to kind of become a bit more interested and want something a bit wacky so uh, and unusual. And I uh, found out that they could be imported. So I uh, started looking about six months ago in earnest. Uh, worked with a guy in the Netherlands to import it. Uh, process took about six months and uh, it arrived in April of 2023. So I've had it for about three months now. Wow, so it's pretty much brand new to you. But brand new to me, but it's done some miles. When you ordered it, did you, did through the Netherlands, did he order it through a company that went ahead and made modifications and, or he, did he just find it like this? Yeah, he'll source them for you. Um, he, he already had this one in his stock. Okay. So, so he, has a, he has a website that you can go to, and if, but if there's nothing there that you like, He'll, he'll try and find you what okay. you want. Okay, yeah. so he doesn't build them necessarily or modify them, but he'll find you very close to what you want. Yeah. Or we'll arrange for it to go to somewhere Bingo. that it can be done. But this yeah. one was already on the website. Yes. As is. Okay. Exactly. So when you got this, how much of what we're currently seeing was already on the vehicle that you did not add? Um, that I did not add. Okay, so um, it already had the winch, it already had the bumpers on it. Um, light guards. Light guards are already there. Frame, the canvas over. top was already there too. Um, it did have a snorkel, and at some point I do mean to put the, the snorkel back on there. Okay. But the one that uh, it came with was incompatible with the roll cage, so that had to come off. Sure. Um, so I guess the next question is, what, what did well, I do? Well, what did you do? Yeah, so Creature comforts first. Um, living in Minnesota, I had heated seats fitted to it. Okay. Um, because it had a brown interior and I wanted a, a dark colored interior. So yep. he happened to have a pair of heated seats as well. So I had him fit those. Uh, air conditioning as well, because it doesn't come standard with air conditioning. There are a couple of other things on the outside. Um, the roll cage or exoskeleton, whatever. And the uh, rock sliders as well. Okay. What about the rims? Uh, rims as well, yeah. I ordered those and had those delivered. Uh, um, to the guy then? No, I actually had them delivered here. Okay. Uh, put it, put those on myself. I ran into some issues with some local uh, shops having the fitted, so I ended up having to do that myself. But hey, that's part of the fun <laughs> of owning a weird car, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so pretty much, I mean, it was as, as it is. You yeah. made a few modifications, but you, you only had it three months. That's right, yeah. Man, so everything except for the rims was done in the netherlands or england or wherever he actually had the car that's right actually i've just realized the real rear wheel arches i fitted a, about a week ago i just haven't got around to the the front ones you can okay. see they're slightly different yeah they're just slightly different uh to, to the normal eye walking by you wouldn't catch that <laughs> but but they are slightly different okay so you know just we were talking about this earlier off camera a little bit but um you have to pay a tax, so I'm just curious, you know, because I like these things, eventually I'd love to have one. How much did you pay in import tax? Yeah, so it and depends. boxing and shipping and everything. Yeah, so uh, in, working with this guy in the Netherlands, uh, included in the purchase price um, is shipping. And he said, it's roughly about two grand to get it on the boat with all the paperwork uh, from the Netherlands to be able to register it in uh, whatever state you're in okay. in the US. Um, there's a bit of a gamble with the pickup truck versions of these when you import them. Um, depending on the day and how the uh, customs official is feeling, you might have to pay, you definitely have to pay a, either a 2.5% a tax on the purchase price, but there's a chance you might have to pay what's called the chicken tax, which is the 25% import duty that America levies on, I believe it's light, medium duty pickup trucks that are being imported. Okay, All right. All right. You lucked out and got the two and a half. I did, yes. And that, that was, that was, <laughs> was a good day for that customer. Yes, I cracked that a beer that day, that's for sure. There, that's for sure. The aluminum plating on the on the hood and the fenders, 
Uh, you you had them put add that? That was already on there. That was already on there. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's very handy because I got to climb up on on the hoods. Sorry, the bonnets to actually clean the windshield. That's okay. You're in the U.S. You can say hood now. Uh, all right. So that's sturdy enough to support you. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy to prove it if you want. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> we trust you. Um, question is whether it would support me. You're you're about 300 pounds lighter than me now. Uh, how many pounds is the winch? Uh, 13,000. Good, so you can rope a branch and pull the truck right up the tree. P pretty much, yeah. Wow. All right, let's take a walk down the side here a minute. We'll, we'll get to the inside in a little bit, but I do love the double cab. Yes. I just like that look. Yep. Uh, was there a specific reason you wanted the roll cage? Um, or did you care about that and you just wanted the truck and it came with it? Uh, no, I, uh, especially I asked for that to be fitted. Um, Aesthetics, you know, it's it, it's a cabin vehicle. It might see it's it sees forest roads every once in a while, um, and I will be registering it as a as an off road vehicle in Minnesota. But yeah, it, it's principally aesthetics. Yeah, I, it, it look it looks great. Thank and you. And if you ever do roll over, it's going to be nice to have. Yeah. Okay, so um, back here, I love uh, you know the, the, the tail lights, of course, are obviously a newer design than what I would have seen in the seventies, late seventies. Yeah. But it's still the same way. You've got the red, the yellow, the white, and it's all, uh, well, you would have only had red and white back here, if I remember right. I may be off on that. We would have the amber. In it would, it yeah. would, okay, but they would have been much smaller. They would have been like your front lights. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, those are definitely aftermarket. And then uh, if you had a fully enclosed, you know, the, the, the with the aluminum coming back, you would have had the ladder yes. going up and then a door that opens out. So, but the pickups are so cool. So this this came with the canvas top, but you were talking about in the future modification, you might like to put a, an aluminum shell on this. Yeah, I know toppers aren't everyone's favorites, but um, there are uh, companies uh, used to make um, toppers for these out of aluminum. They look like they were factory made. Bit hard to get hold of now, they're out of production. Uh, so I'm still trying to source one of those from Europe. There's, there's a couple in the States, but nobody's willing to give them up yet. So okay. at some point. So is it like a camper shell then, or is it? Yeah, it's. It's an aluminum camper shell. Yeah. So it'll just give you the, I mean, a little bit more security. Little, okay. Yeah. A little, little bit more protection yeah. from the elements. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not to. I I have ridden in a mini of a pickup with the canvas cover on a dusty road, and I don't care if you roll that back down, dust gets dust everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, you got the course the stepping uh, bars here, or what do you use that for? Is that I, just I protect think I protect the corners. That, that's my understanding. Yeah. Okay, I used them wrong as a kid then, I just crawled. Oh, you did? Hey, well, you probably have more experience with these than I do. <laughs> Let's lift this up for a second here. Okay, I, I like how those hinges go right in there. Yeah. That, that is slick. All right, so for, for those who are, aren't super familiar with Land Rovers, explain, you know, real quick, what's the difference between the, the 130 and the 110. Yeah, um, so the 110 is the, the SUV style with uh, two rows of doors. And as you described earlier, it'll have the a hard back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the no, 130, pickup 130 would have been the pickup. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you've just reminded me of another uh, change that I made. Uh, it has a uh, American style two inch receiver uh, hitch on there now. It came with um, uh, a European version. Right. They, they call it the potato plow because it's this huge contraption that uh, basically hangs right the way down and it looks like a plow on the back of your back of your vehicle. So I had to um, and I had to have that removed, put that on so I can have a, just a regular American hitch in there now. Yeah. So now you have what kind of a plug? Is a seven pin plug in or is that a... Oh, seven. That's so old. Uh, no, 13, please. 13. <laughs> so now you can hook up the cameras, right? In yep. the back, you can do those extra couple of pins, give you a lot of options. I, you tell me. I haven't actually investigated that yet. So typically, in the newer vehicles, we see that they give you the option to put cameras in your uh, in your trailer. Got it. Okay. Behind your trailer, and then you can flick through them on your screen. You can see it'll do like a ghosted out image of your trailer as you're looking back from like this angle. You do have a backup camera that's been added. Yes. That that Super is handy. way yeah. down down here. A good quality one. It, I, it, I, it's, it's an RV type. It's, okay. It's, it's really neat. Um, I, I know that because I look at it. <laughs> um, and you actually have another camera on top of the cab. It used to be for looking in the cab. That's right. Now it just sees the black bar. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. That's for nighttime driving. Actually, yeah, I, I, I got to figure out what to do with that. I might move it into the I, bed. Oh, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't get rid of it. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's nice to have that. And then when you get the aluminum in there, 
I'm sure there'll be a spot to, to hang it right there. Yep. Okay, I love your license plate. Thank you. Offender? Yeah. Or the defender? Yes. <laughs> and I think that's more of a reference to the, you know, max speed, the, you know, and the people stuck behind me. That's... <laughs> and, and in the long traffic queues? Yep, exactly. So can you currently cruise at a, you know, 55, 65, 70? She, she was sitting at 70 all day. Okay. Um, but, but there's not much passing. You know, no, you know, there's uh, no get up and go, yeah, is there? No, she, she, she's she's all in at about uh, 77 miles an hour. So, uh, and this is a five-speed transmission plus reverse. Yes. Manual, of course. Yes. Okay, um, let's uh, let's come back here. I do like your uh, your back uh, mud flaps are Land Rover. Yep. Don't lose those. That'll cost you money, huh? <laughs> That's right. Okay, let's come up here and let's talk about the inside for a minute. Oh, good. I see you've done something uh, roadworthy here. That, that you know, when Don't you make up a story if it's a super silly mistake. Yeah, no, it, it, you know, when, when you buy a car sight unseen from Europe and it arrives and there's a dent in it, that, that that's a day when you crack two beers. You know, I tell you, no one should be able to off-road in your vehicle before you do. Yeah. Well, if that's all it is, yeah, you're pretty good. Okay, so back here you've got a, of course, a, a, the second row of seats. Um, they. They don't, they don't recline, of course, because the cab is it's right up. It's a stiff seat, yeah. but do they fold forward? They do, yes. And uh, you'll find underneath in the seat box, there's a whole bunch of storage, which is, of course, being a Land Rover, it's full of spare parts, belts, yes. oil, fluids, yep. etc. Yeah, things you need to get from point A to point A, B. Exactly. <laughs> I'm land back again, yeah. I like, you know, this is interesting things, but the, the completely flat floor, you yeah. know? I, I mean, that's, I, I love that, I love that. Uh, okay, so three-seater, does the middle seat go down? Oh, it does. It goes down by itself. Yeah, it's actually uh, split 60-40, so this one... What know. is a 60-40? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can tell from my angle. With, okay, but both will fold down, and you've got storage underneath the seats on That's both right. seats. Yes. That's a lot of area for storage. It is, yeah. Who Pretty cares, handy. Who cares who sits in back, no, yeah. as long as you're in the front, I'm right? I'm never going to. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Okay, now in the front, We've got, this is the air conditioning unit that you were talking about, right? That's right, that's the aftermarket air conditioning, yep. So that stretches all the way across the dashboard. It's got the built-in speakers. Yep. And then, I don't know what that, a floor vent for your feet? I believe that's actually uh, for the tweeter, another speaker. Ah, okay, yeah. I get it. Yep, and there's a matching one on the other side. And then, of course, this is the controller for your aftermarket air conditioning. Fan speed and... And how, how cold it yeah. is, okay. Does it work good? You will have the coldest knees out there. The rest of you will be pretty warm, but your knees will be very cold. These will be cold. This is the uh, traditional controls for, yes. it, it didn't have air conditioning, but for your vents, right? Yeah. So you had cold and hot right here, and then you could defroster or sort of floor. That's right. And then you had natural air vents. That would open up the, the you know the, those front fans. You have the left one and the right one. That's right. The original air conditioning. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Uh, you also, have, of course, have a hazard in your main light switch right here. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Th this is our main light switch. This will be a fog fog light. Okay. So the one on the on the uh, column is your main lights. This is your fog lights, hazard yeah. lights. Then over here, you've got another light switch. It's rotary. Yeah, that, that's for leveling the headlights. So if you're towing and uh, you're way down in the back or you're in a pickup. If so you're... it's a manual leveler. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Now, you've got this uh, additional screen right here. Yes. Okay. I fitted by the previous owner. Um, super handy when I'm reversing. Okay, that's where your backup cameras are. Yeah. Okay, you've got another digital gauge just to the right of the cigarette lighter. Yeah, um, that's, what's that for? Yeah, that's um, a, it's a timer. Um, so a, an old-fashioned one. What it does is uh, there's a aftermarket um, heating device under the hood. It's plumbed into the coolant system. Uh, it takes diesel from the main uh, fuel tank, and you can use that digital timer on the dashboard to set that heater to come on 20 minutes before you leave to go to work on a cold morning. It'll heat the coolant, heat the engine block, and it'll heat heat the heater matrix and also turn on the cabin fan as well. So you walk it in, the truck pretty much just starts right up and ready to go. That's the idea. You know, I'll get to test that out this winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. You haven't had it through a winter. Okay, so parking brake. Yes. Right? Okay, and as far as uh, the four-wheel drive system, you have a high, neutral, and low? Yes. Okay, neutral and just for towing. 
Or yeah. winch your truck up a tree. Maybe. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And then there you got the five-speed transmission. And a sensor locking differential as well. Oh, where's that switch? So that's on that little switch. Oh, that is on the same thing. Yeah. Okay. So I, I love Land Rover's uh, cup holders, <laughs> you know, about, about the cheapest cup holders That's you could right. possibly get. I, I think I saw them on a no. 90s pontoon one. <laughs> yes, a 90s <laughs> pontoon. <Yeah. laughs> That's about it, too. That's um, what they call a cubby, the, the armrest. is actually aftermarket. Um, you can uh, get a, a sixth seat in there as well. For, okay. for a very small person. So you can yeah, take that very, out yep. and add a seat in there. Or somebody who's really good with shifting with their feet. Yes. Yeah. Short and good with shifting. Okay. Yes. But it's a lockable storage. It is, except and the lock's broken. So that's so okay. something. Nobody heard, Nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. Oh, no. Yeah, but um, the uh, the guard dogs I have are amazing. See, <laughs> the, uh, the, the front seats, of course, will slide forward and backwards. They'll tilt. Yes. And then uh, you've got the same storage under both driver and passenger seat up here. That's right. You can pop the uh, seat bases off, which I'm happy to do for you if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty Okay, so this one houses your, your battery. And that's that, right. And, and that's the only battery in the vehicle? It is right Currently, now. Currently, anyways. Currently, yes. Okay, but you've got the same sized storage bin for the other side. That's right, yes. Okay, well, I mean, you know, that's fairly clever. You know, when they put the seats up, what a good use of space between the back row and the front row. That's actually a lot of space for tools and all those little spare parts. More you need. oil. Yeah, exactly. More oil. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you had an aftermarket stereo. Was that in there when you got it? That was, yeah. It looks okay. like it's from the 90s, but it was actually from 2017, believe it or not. It has what? Bluetooth. <laughs> well, hey, that, that's great if it has Bluetooth, right? And then, of course, you just have a RAM mount for your phone up there. That's right. Uh, so, any modifications you're planning on making on the interior? I know you've already modified seats. Yeah, so and yeah. They look really nice. I, I like your, your switch. Yeah, so um, heated seats, I think I mentioned that. Um, yep. Crit critical for Minnesota winters. So, the other one is I'd like to do a heated uh, windscreen as well. Um, can you get that from Land Rover? Yes, you can. I don't know whether it was ever a factory, but you could. But there's certainly parts available, and yeah, it's just okay. a case of wiring it in, and, a, and away you go. Uh, that that would be really nice on any car. Yep. A heated windshield. Okay. Let's come back out here to the front again. All right. So, Colin, I know you've only had the car for three months, but obviously you've been working on this, dreaming about it for years. That's true. So what is one of your best memories with this car? I, I think the uh, best memory was uh, taking it the, the two hours north to the cabin and arriving. <laughs> you know, li literally it was boys weekend up at the cabin. Yeah. And I've got my uh, stepsons, etc., and other family members here. Um, uh, it arrived early. We were at boys weekend up at the cabin. So I drove home, met the guy in a Walmart, a Walmart parking lot to pick up the car. <laughs> okay. You know, he showed me how the immobilizer works, jumped in the vehicle, drove straight two hours north and made it. So that's that's probably the best memory so far. But you know, there, there'll be some light overlanding, so we have, uh, uh, fiance and I hope to make some uh, more good memories out on the roads. Well, especially if you have uh, an aluminum back end where you could actually, you know, camp in, right? That's right. Wouldn't really want to camp with a cannabis tent down there. I mean, you can do yeah. it. But... Yeah. But uh, any uh, future modifications on the car? No, it still has the original 111 uh, snarling automotive mayhem uh, horsepower engine. <laughs> Would you like to see it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is all original. Yeah. Are you going to keep it original? Um, it depends on what happens with the pocketbook. So uh, there are people uh, who have recipes for doing LS swaps on them. Um, you know and tripling or quadrupling the horsepower. So yeah, well, it feels it's not hard when you're sitting at 110. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> now, you, know, I, you know why they have a canvas top? That's so the guys can jump out easily and push it up the hill. <laughs> so any other uh, future upgrades that you're currently kind of mumbling in mind besides maybe an LS swap down the line? Uh, more creature comforts. Uh, central locking would be nice, right? I, I know yep. we all grew up with, without it, but right. um, nice to hit a lock button and have all doors locked. Exactly. And the aftermarket air conditioning unit uh, down by your knees interferes with the window winders, so it'd be nice to have um, electric windows too. Okay. 
And there are kits out there that um, are fairly easy, well, seem fairly easy to fit. Well, you know, I we all say uh, 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 when you're re restoring a car or buying a uh, classic car, it's a never-ending process, right? Yeah. Um, if you always come up with something, maybe a few years down the road, oh, I didn't even know that existed. I'm gonna put that on there, so. Right, well, I have to be careful. Fiance's just feet away, so, you know, we can't will, talk we, about the whole list. We, we, we we'll keep part of that list quiet. <laughs> Well, Colin, you know, thank you so much for sharing your time, your beautiful Land Rover, and your plans with it. It's just amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thanks oh. for showing an interest. <laughs> you can't help but show an interest in that. Thanks for watching.